Welcome to another LHB Occult Watch. Listen to the scripture. Deuteronomy 18.10 There shall not be found among you anyone that makes his son or daughter to pass through the fire, or that uses divination, or an observer of times, or an enchanter or witch, or a charmer, or a consulter with familiar spirits, or a wizard, or a necromancer. For all that do these things are an abomination unto the Lord, and because of these abominations, the Lord thy God does drive them out from before thee. Thou shalt be perfect with the Lord thy God. Here's another one in Isaiah. And when they shall say unto you, Seek unto them that have familiar spirits, and unto wizards that peep, and that mutter, should not a people seek unto their God for the living to the dead? Tragically today, we are being saturated with the occult, mainly in with the teens and the young, young children. Um, they're being introduced to it through video games, Hollywood, uh, but mainly through so-called board games like Ouija boards or, sadly but true, YouTube. There's a lot of how-to videos on YouTube. Um, they're experience, experimenting with seances and witchcraft games and things of this nature. And they think it's a game, but tragically, the outcome and end result is always something that leaves devastation. It leaves a person empty and lost, and a lot of the times dead. When dabbling with the occult, what you're doing, you're actually inviting these spirits into your life and into your home and eventually into your body itself. See, God has put up certain barriers in the human mind and the human soul to keep alien entities, fallen angels, demons, out. If not, if those barriers weren't there, everyone that's apart from God can easily be possessed. But thank God in his mercy, he has made sure that those barriers are there. Mental barriers, spiritual barriers, they're there. But the problem though, is we have free will and God knows that free will is a double-edged sword, okay? Because a person could choose to disobey God and remove these barriers of their own accord. And a lot of the times, this is what we see. With young people playing these games, they are removing um, the barriers God has put up there. So when you dabble with a Ouija board, for example, you're basically choosing to open the doors to allow other entities into your mind, into your soul. So what happens is you start out talking to these so-called beings that are um, spirits of the departed, which that's another topic. There are no spirits of the departed lingering on planet Earth. There are angelic spirits and demonic spirits, which are fallen angels. But there are no human spirits hanging around on planet Earth. Uh, they're either in heaven or hell. They're not just hanging out here. So what happens is when you invite a spirit in by your own accord, it loosens the connection with your soul to your body and they can superimpose their soul into your body basically they'll push you over into the passenger seat of your car and they'll be behind the steering wheel if you know what i mean you'll still be there but they're the ones in control now and this is what we see in this generation more than any we have teenagers that are dabbling in this stuff like it's fun and that's what Satan likes. Remember, 
the next generation coming, in my opinion, will be that generation that will uh, fill Antichrist's army, that will worship Satan openly, that would take the mark of the beast, and that will rally against the God who created them. That's what Revelation says is going to happen. So this generation has to come from somewhere. That army has to come from somewhere, and it's going to come from, I believe, this generation that's here now or maybe the next one. But I believe we're close. Um, so we're going to take a look at a couple of videos. Um, the first one, I want you to notice the laughter and the fun. These young women are are you know doing as as they're dabbling with danger they're dancing with the devil and they don't even know it let's take a look trying without and trying to feet. think lift <laughs> no oh, my butt. it's not possible it's not possible it's not possible okay, okay ready? so ready do the face do the ready face. go don't She's ill. She's ill. She's looking worse. She's looking worse. She's looking worse. She's looking worse. She's dying. She's dying. She's dying. She's dying. She's dead. She's dead. She's dead. She's dead. Light as a feather, stiff as a board. 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 One, two, three. Oh my god. We actually did it! So as we can see from that last clip, Satan is after the young people. He's after the teenagers. He wants the next generation. Let's warn others about this occult activity that's taking over this nation and the world. It's not fun and games. Souls are, are at stake. So until next time, my friends, Maranatha. Keep looking up.